because of the what, getting excited about what to do, what you could do. See, this part of the equation is the only pain-free part of the equation. When you're listening to marketing education, when you're um, kind of sitting out and planning what you could do, well, you don't have any real market data hitting you in the face. You haven't spent any real money ex except for on the education, right? Um, you don't have anything staring you in the face that um, is a problem that creates frustration you have to deal with. And so this, what to do, is like chocolate. This goes down like chocolate. And how to do it, well, that probably goes down like a oh, moderately decent pasta meal. Um, finding the time to do it, well, that's, and, and keeping up the energy and morale, well, that's more like, um, that's more like doing a tough workout. The determination is more like doing a tough workout three times a week, every week to see the growth. Uh, and the persistence is staying with it for six months or a year to get to that next level that you really want to get to. And the seduction of the pain-free area where you're looking at what to do, it's just so much fun. And it, it really it really is like chocolate that um, it seduces you into jumping from one to the next to the next. And as a result, time goes by and you haven't achieved what you want to achieve and a greater and greater um, lack of confidence develops. And paradoxically, that lack of confidence is very dangerous because you do need energy and morale and determination and persistence and there's nowhere you're going to get that through the lack of confidence. As a matter of fact, as you have that lack of confidence, what are you going to do? you're going to naturally gravitate more back towards this pain-free what to do section. And that's what you have to fight over and over and over again and, and be asking yourself, um, am I progressing down this path? Am I forcing myself down this path? Because if you're not, then it act it's not that you just stay stuck. It actually makes things worse. It's very pernicious. Um, because as time goes by and things don't progress, you develop more of a lack of confidence. Um, and because of the jumping around and the lack of confidence, people have, they, they develop some skills. I mean, um, it, it turns out you really do have to test a bunch of things to figure out what your model is going to be, and people develop skills along the way. Um, and a certain amount of that is normal, but but most people get stuck in it forever um and 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 the lack of focus just makes that you know hey let's go find out more about what to do more more seductive um here's my solution which took me a long time to realize and is hard fought for not only in my own personal struggles but with hundreds of students and most people know I'm the CEO of Rocket Click, so I've also seen hundreds of actual business models with real dollars in and dollars out. Um, here's, here is the three principles that I think underlie real success online. The first one is understanding that the whole internet is indexed by keyword and it always will be. Um, just like human beings communicate with language in words. Of course, we use pictures and audios and blah, blah, blah. But but search engines and even, even the social media, they understand those conversations by keyword. And the biggest thing that I see people doing wrong is they, they couldn't stop you in an elevator and tell you what one keyword defines their business. That doesn't mean that that's the only keyword they'll ever get traffic from. But I, I would like to see you be able to get a three or four percent conversion on one dead center keyword, even if it's a very low volume, because that's what your business is about. Uh, I, I'm, I'm developing a business about emotional eating right now, about uh, um, you know what to do when food has become a five-letter word, and and how to restore peace. And I would much rather go after that than try to go after 50 keywords in the general weight loss market or go after something like how to lose weight because um, 
I have far fewer competitors on emotional eating. Um, I personally have a lot of strength and background in that, so I, I, I know that I can dominate it. Um, and I know that there will be people that are searching in the high volume terms of how to lose weight who will be attracted to the idea of, you know, making peace with food when it's become a five letter word. Um, I, I know there will be people who will be attracted to the emotional eating message if I've got the best emotional eating message in the world out there. So one bullseye keyword, um, one competitor. There are so many competitive tools out there. There's so much information you could find. And what I find is that people are incredibly manic and it's the same, you know, chocolate what to do stuff all over again. And if you think about it, if you could, if you had one keyword and you figured out who the absolute most important competitor was on that keyword, then you would have the confidence to um, spend the time and energy necessary to totally reverse engineer because you're trying to do what they've already done. And you know they've already done it because you've been tracking them on that keyword and you've been looking at their ads and you see them advertising consistently. So you know that it's worth your time and energy to, to make that happen. Um, and by the way, you know the reason that people don't select a single bullseye is because they get confused with considerations of volume and relevance and um, competition and, and you know cost per click and all sorts of things. And um, of course, that's what glensentme.com is all about, is getting you centered on these principles and taking you through spreadsheets to very analytically decide what those keywords and competitors should be. Um, and then the last thing is once you've done your research and you've really reverse engineered the competition, um, which is an ordeal. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a thing to do. Uh, but once you have done that with focus and determination, then you develop your one page of principle, principles which unify and solidify your marketing center of gravity um, and ensure that everything you write and everything you um, present to the market thereafter focuses around that one message that identifies you as the expert to solve this problem on this keyword in this market. Um, so that's what I have to say to you today. I got a little riled up about this and one of the cool things about what I do is I get to sit in my, in my room and get all riled up about things, <laughs> but I, I think I'm making a difference. I think, I hope I'm making a difference. Um, it means a lot to me that you take the time to watch it and, um, Hey, go have a look at glensentme.com. That's glensentme.com. Thanks so much. Bye.